Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be unboxing the brand new ThinkPad X1 Yoga Generation 8. So this is brand new, just been released this year. It was featured at CES in the US. So this is a high spec uh, yoga so I'm just gonna open this up so I've just removed the outer box and inside there is another smaller box which has got the laptop in and it's also got the USB-C uh, charger as well as the plug which plugs into that so three prong plug let's open this up so this is the laptop itself so I'm just taking this out so I'm just going to it's got the uh, sort of instructions sort of quick start looks like some very brief instructions in there let's put those away and let's open up to this so that's the thinkpad x1 yoga let's just open this up so that's what it looks like, uh, looks very neat. It's got the usual uh, yoga uh, keyboard um, with the sort of slightly dip keys. So I've been using uh, ThinkPad uh, yoga laptops for a while, for several years. And I have to say, I love the keyboard feel, the depth of the keys, the, the sort of feel you get and the resistance you get on that. They're absolutely great. Uh, as you can see, they've also got the fingerprint reader here. So uh, that's the power and the uh, fingerprint reader before on the old model we used to have it at the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to charge this up, set it up, and then we'll talk a bit more about this. So we are back with the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad x1 yoga so this is the latest one it's gen 8 just been released 2023 been showcased at ces in uh, the us so i'm just going to open this up before we do that just in case you're interested let's have a look at some of the uh, stats just in terms of dimensions and weight so let's just put that on the scales and here we go so this is 14.55 so that's one point four uh, kilos um, so it's still very lightweight for what it is it's obviously a bit heavier than the x1 carbon by about 200 grams or so but still a very lightweight laptop we have got the dimensions here so it's about 22 and a half centimeters by about 31 and a half there and if we have a look at the sort of profile on the side you can sort of see there it's got the usual ports usb usb c hdmi this is what i like about the lenovo's as i mentioned on the uh, thinkpad carbon uh, review as well that they've got these ports built in you don't need an adapter when you're on the move for those you've got another usb uh, port there we've got an eSIM and we've got a headphone jack there as well just looking on the back, that's the back there. I'm just going to put this down and just measure that hinge. So this is the thickest part. And you are looking at probably about 1.8 centimetres-ish uh, on the back. So again, relatively thin profile there as well. So just opening this up. So as you can see there, glorious display. It's got a built-in fingerprint sensor uh, and power key which is here uh, sometimes it takes a little while to recognize but no that's taken me straight in um, as you can see there really nice display so this is a 14 inch screen it's oled 3840 by 2400 um, it has got an i7 uh, core processor uh, windows 11 pro 32 gig RAM, uh, two terabytes SSD hard drive, um, and 
just like uh, most Lenovo's, it has also got the um, privacy um, uh, for the uh, built-in webcam. So that is, if you're using the webcam, if you want to block it, you can see the red dot and it's a little slider switch at the top. So that's absolutely great as well. Um, with the yoga, the obviously the key thing with it is you can go through, you can lay it flat. Or if you want to, you can bend it around completely so it comes back. And there you go. So you've, you've now got it as a sort of a large tablet uh, and you can use it in that mode as well. So just to show you the profile when it's in tablet mode, you can sort of see there's you've got a slight gap here. And then just going round, you've got the gap there. So it's not as sort of flush as what you might see with other laptops like the HP, for example, which can fold back completely flat. But when you're holding it like this, you don't really, you know, recognize the sort of um, the sort of edges around the round the back. So that's in tablet mode. So we can just very easily and as you can see some quite strong hinges here, uh, we can just literally flip it back and then that's back as the normal laptop really good keyboards that the lenovo's have really comfortable really good uh feel to them um good sort of uh, mouse um uh, trackpads as well so you know you've got your right clicks you've got your buttons there as well on the right click left click so that works really well the keyboard really nice solid feel to it when you're sort of pushing down feels really professional um, and you can get a really good sort of typing speed. This this sort of keyboard layout seems to be the same throughout many generations. I've got a much older X1 Yoga as well. The, the keyboard is very much the same. So everything is really positive. The only downside I would say, and it's the same issue with this that I mentioned on the other review with the X1 Carbon, is that right hand side, it's all good on the keyboard. Left hand side, this gets really warm so you uh, the top of this will start getting warm and the keys here so i can feel now the heat on the escape the number one uh, and you can sort of just feel the heat sort of coming through these keys on the left side so as i'm resting my hand there i can feel heat coming through while on the right side it's just like it should be nice and cool to the touch so you know that isn't great for an expensive laptop such as this it seems to be a prevalent issue with the lenovo's if you go online and you just type in um you know if you just google a uh, lenovo thinkpad heat you'll come across a number of users who have had this same kind of issue so that's something you just be, need to be mindful of the other thing is um the fan can get very loud so one of the things I would recommend whenever you buy any new uh, Lenovo laptop is make sure you go into the built-in Lenovo Vantage software that's, that comes with the laptop. When you run that, it will, it will search for new updated drivers. Now for this, when I started running it initially, this got extremely hot and so did the left side. There was uh, a new BIOS uh, update available for um uh, and it said it was a thermal bios sort of upgrade for the computer so i don't know if that's sort of throttling the you know uh how the sort of um uh, power is working or the fan but it's made it a bit cooler but you know this has only been on for a few minutes and it's already got quite warm at the top here while on the right you know it's okay but on the, on the left here it, it already is starting to get quite warm and it's sort of warm all the way up to sort of that area on the left which really a laptop shouldn't my old x1 uh, uh, lenovo which is several years old that never had that issue so it's something that lenovo really should look at fixing because otherwise it you know it is a really high powered brilliant uh, laptop so that is the thinkpad x1 lenovo yoga gen 8 we hope you enjoyed watching this, so please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos. Thank you and see you next time.